Oh, my hair's a mess. Kitchen time again. Party time What's in up? the kitchen. What's up, yo? How's it going? Party time. Woo! Yeah. Ah. Oh, it, it is. Check it. It is what it yo. is. Do you want to check if, you, if if our guests are here? I I mean, if they manage to get there that quickly, I'll be impressed. But let's see if they are here because are it's worth it? getting them in. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. Why don't you just go into the guesting thing and search them? Because it well, I could do that, but it, it shows you the people that you're following and we follow them. So. Bow ba da da da. Oh oh yep yep yep. Hang on, we got one. We got Freddy, now we just need to get Huey. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. Sorry. This. We're going to... Hello, Hi. Freddy. Hello, Hello, Freddy. What's going on? We're just getting Huey in They're as well. Two yeah. Hang on. Hang on a minute. I promise it's Huey Huey is here. chaotic as we give up. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, wait, well. wait, 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 where's Huey? Oh, no. Stance. Is he not on yet? I don't know. I'm not sure, but for anyone wondering... Oh, gosh, we've got to get lower. This is Freddy. <laughs> Hello, Freddy. <laughs> he is one half of Freddy and Huey, but oh no, everything's falling apart. We're really good at this, Freddy. This is our jobs. <laughs> um, so we practice this. Yeah, we're gonna get Huey in in no time, and then we'll it's start not a chatting. Skill. We just blag it every time. Yeah. We, we we try our best though. How have you been, Freddy? How's how's your day been today? So yeah, it's been far? good. Um, so I was at football this morning. There then... was football this morning. Did I miss it? <laughs> no, I was. Playing with no, he was playing. Oh, playing! He was playing. I'm yeah. sick. I, I, I miss here as well. I'm also half deaf. That's, that's he's not. I'm not. <laughs> I just made that up to make myself look less stupid. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm hoping the football went well for you. Do you want to just type it in, Harvey? Yeah. Why don't you, why don't yeah, you that, type that his name work. in? And then, and then, and then it'll probably be there. There you go. Yeah. Right there. Yes. There we go. Invite him in. Set a request. We've almost got Huey in. Do you want to, how are we going to do this? I have right. absolutely no idea. Maybe we just go here. This works. We're squatting. Hello, Huey. Huey. Hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, boys. Right, so, to give you guys a proper intro for everyone that's <laughs> watching this live stream, uh, Huey and Freddie here are incredible kids, and they've been doing some amazing stuff over the past space yeah. of time. Yeah, past I was just year. going to make up a space of time. And I think last time I checked, and let, correct me if I'm let, wrong. Let them say it because we yeah. might get the number wrong. So, actually, yeah. How much have you guys raised uh, for the Royal Man's Children's Sausage? Just or? my page or. All, all, together, all together. All together. How much you've raised? Uh, um, probably about £210,000. That is just. I mean, that is a ridiculous. You, so, this, this, just so everyone's aware, you guys are both 10, yeah? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Two two ten year olds have raised over two hundred thousand pounds. We all need charity. to pack up. We need so to. We need to. Everyone, check what doing, you know, doing it wrong. Get it, it. I mean, you guys are just amazing. And Freddie, correct me if I'm wrong. You ran how far was it? Um, hundred kilometers. So two k a day, uh, for fifty days. Wow. That's that a was, lot of that was for your so you have your own fundraiser account as well as other yeah. things that people have donated to, and for your personal fundraiser account, it's I like think it's like one hundred ne nearly one hundred seventy thousand, right? Yes. Yeah. That is just that amazing. Is insane. What actually made you guys go right? Let's let's start raising some money because um, obviously you know Huey, you're currently yeah. an outpatient at Royal Manchester yeah. Children's Hospital, yeah. right? So what what was the main thing that where, that Freddie you decided right I wanna I wanna do something for charity? Uh yes, yeah, so I just like wanted to help Huey out because obviously he's going through such a hard time. So just to help him out is what I was thinking. I just thought even like a couple of thousand pounds, not even that would just be amazing. Well, that that was the thing. I I went to check your fundraiser, and it said it said a hundred and you know just under a hundred and seventy thousand out of a thousand. So your goal was a thousand pounds. Yeah. Uh, and I you think, to... Freddie, I think you've smashed. It. I think you might have reached. I think it, you yeah. might have reached just the, about your goal that you just set. And that Harvey just mentioned before that Huey, you're uh, a day patient. He's currently uh, an, out an outpatient. Sorry. Yeah. Eighty four. 
uh, yeah. which is a ward we actually tend to visit quite a lot when we visit the hospital. Uh, but we haven't been for a while, unfortunately, because, you know, there's this thing called COVID going on. Sucks. Uh, and it does genuinely suck. But I wanted to ask, has anything sort of changed while we've not been there? Is there, is there anything new at the hospital? Um, not really, just like masks. You have to wear masks all the time. Yeah. Because uh, I got diagnosed in in uh, during lockdown, so I don't, I didn't really know what it was like before that. So um, I, yeah, so it, so I can't really say what's changed. But um, fair enough. Something that I know that yeah, has changed, that is very like exciting, page. that uh, I think is is your idea actually, Huey that I'm very jealous I haven't been in for, is that you've introduced for the patients uh, at the hospital uh, these things called slushy pouches that sound incredible. Uh, what, what gave you that idea to actually introduce that to the hospital? Well, it was actually the ward manager that said um, uh, it'd be really good to have slushies because with, the, with, some of the, with one of the chemos, you get sore mouths. Mm. And uh, so she said, I, either a slushy machine or like something cold would do really good. So uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we couldn't get a, a, a machine. Yeah. Um, but we found this company and they donated a year's worth of slushy pouches. That's, wow. that's just incredible. And I love the idea of a slushy pouch as well, because you can just you, you just have loads. Like I, I'm assuming you sort of just throw them out at the hospital to yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was that cool <laughs> when you first sort of brought them into the hospital you're like you get a slushy pouch you sort yeah. of oprah all over the oprah of slushy yeah. pouches yeah. It must yeah. be incredible. um we were we were reading a bit about you guys and huey specifically uh, i can't speak today huey specifically uh we were reading that you were in les mis when you were younger are you massively into theater um yes yeah, so me and my sister we both go to uh, drama school and um, yeah, I was um, I was I was in Les Mis. I was the the child in Les Mis. Um, Which one? There's a few, but there's only one male. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, do you know what? It's 2021. He you might have played. He could have played. He could have played. Yeah. Yeah. He could have played Cosette if he really wanted. Because I actually did yeah. the same thing when I was younger. I played Gavroche um, in my sort of drama group that I went to. Mm -hmm. uh, we loved that when we were younger. We did loads of different performances. <laughs> And uh, I've actually heard, Freddie, you're a bit of a, a musician yourself. Do you, do, do, is it that you that likes to play the drums? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, I know what, I'm very there. proud. Right, as soon as we're allowed to meet up, we're having a drumming session. I don't care what happens. That we're, Someone will set that up, Huey, I'm sure. you and me will find sorted. something else to do, yeah. I promise. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I, unless Huey's a drummer as well, in which case I've, everyone is welcome. We'll all drum, but I'm I've, terrible. I've got, I've got a guitar, so... Perfect. That works. That works. I've got a guitar too. <laughs> I have those. We can definitely play something that. out there. Okay, amazing. <laughs> um, what would you guys say? Actually, I'll, I'll start with Huey. Huey, do you have a favourite musical? Um, I don't know whether you've uh, heard of it or seen it. It's called Come From Away. Yes, that is the one about... I was about to say he's not going to stump me here, but I... What? No, no, because our, our old producer for FOMO loved it. Um, it. Remind me what it's about, because I think it might be about something, but I don't want to say it and then be wrong. It's about the 9-11. That, yes. Uh, yes, exactly, yeah. So that, that's a really cool story. Is there any reason why it's your favourite? Um, well, I've, I've been to see it in London because every year... Well, obviously, we've not been able to do it this year, but um, or last year, uh, but we got down to London and we've watched... Uh, Wicked, we've watched Hamilton, we've watched oh, lots, yeah. lots of things like that. Yeah, Wicked's, Wicked's my favourite, and then I, I would love to see Hamilton as well, but we're just, we haven't been that lucky yet. We actually almost bought tickets to see it in New York, and then they'd all... We, we, we found out, we got to the things, it was so popular at the time, that if we did want to go and watch it, we'd all have to sit on different sides of the theatre, <laughs> we'll be because they only had singular seats for like each of us. We couldn't sit together because it was so like booked out. Very popular. Um, so yeah, we, we haven't been that lucky yet, but it looks good. And then Freddie, obviously it seems like you're more into sort of just music in general. Do you have a favourite musical or just general like mm. song or artist or something like that? I don't really go to like musicals. Yeah. 
Um, but like, I've been to a couple like, uh, like obviously before lockdown, but um, with a couple of, like my mum's friends' kids, I've been to like the snowman and that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. And is is there anything that you like to play on the drums at all, or or any favourite drummers rather? Um. Not really like songs, because I've only really just like started okay. not being doing it for too long. You'll still be better so, than me, that's okay. Yeah, he's a terrible drummer. To, to, change the topic, <laughs> to change the topic a little bit, so you guys um, were on BBC Breakfast, I'm pretty sure, again, correct me if I'm wrong, this morning, and various other programmes as well. Was that scary for you guys going on sort of national live TV as, as two 10 year olds? Um, I'm assuming you've not had loads of tv experience in the past <laughs> because that would be nuts for a, for a, for a child of, of your guy's age um so was was it scary or were you just like quite calm with the presenters and the cameras there uh like the first time was a bit like nerve-wracking but yeah but once, once yeah, we, got... we just got used to it <laughs> yeah then it, then it was a little bit easier and because th there is there is millions of people watching, yeah. and uh, it, it it got to me and Harvey the first time because we did oh, yeah. BBC Breakfast a few years ago. Not uh, for anything as cool as you guys. No. We just had like a TV. We've show never been invited back. <laughs> we've we've never been invited back since because we decided to do oh, parkour God. on their set. I forgot about that because we got quite nervous, so we just started like running around. Uh, and, and uh, you know over. what it was? Our uncle actually dared us. He he found out that we were going on BBC Breakfast and he said it'd be really funny if at the end you two just started doing like parkour over the set. So yeah. we, he like jumped over the sofa. Uh, <laughs> I just started like jumping around in my seat. And to be fair, we actually got a lot of negativity in the press because of it. A lot of people were sort of like writing in newspaper articles, who were these kids that were allowed to be on BBC Breakfast and, and make fools of the presenters? And then like the week before, I saw someone bench press Charlie. I was like, how are we? bad in our week when Charlie was being bench pressed. Well, anyway, it doesn't you, matter. You guys were probably a lot yeah. better behaved than us, I can imagine. Uh, <laughs> but it is, it is amazing that you guys have been doing everything that you've been doing. And people have been coming to you as well in your house. I saw on one of your Instagrams, I think that you were filming out in your garden or something for one of the North, up North BBC accounts. Is that weird um, having all those cameras in your house? No, it was um, in like the centre of the town in of in my village so yeah it was in his village not his house a bit of a... right okay <laughs> sorry it looked it looked like a house weirdly but anyway uh yeah was, was it weird sort of having people come to you with all those cameras and stuff like that and asking to film a little bit because we've not like had that um stuff done yet but yeah it's not um, yeah so that um that was like that's going to be out on the uh on Tuesday. Um, okay, cool. Be, uh, BBC Northwest tonight, obviously, you won't be watching it because you're down south and you're not from the north. Anyone we'll, up north, we'll figure it make out. sure to look out. We'll, 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 we'll work it we'll out. We'll get, a, on we'll get a VPN or something to be up north. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. Um, but you guys are obviously, uh, I'm assuming, not going to stop your incredible fundraising. So I want to know. Uh, if you guys have got anything planned next that you're going to do, like what's your next big move uh, to raise a bunch of money like you have been doing, which is just incredible. Do you have anything planned? Um, not planned, but uh, we're thinking of maybe like a friendship for money, like something along those lines. I was about to say, do you know what? Why don't why don't we brainstorm right now? Let's let's have a little let's oh, have no. a little brainstorm session. No, it never goes well with a way of way to raise money for charity. Now, I must admit, before we get into this, a lot of our ideas will be quite stupid, so we're going to have to work around that. Yeah. Uh, what, what 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 should we we could we could bake a cupcake. But just one. No, no, no. One big no, 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 cupcake. No, 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 no. And no, people no. have to put money in. No, you shut up. <laughs> you completely cut me off at the wrong <laughs> okay. We We bake a cup. How many? What's the population of England? 60 um, something million. 66 million. Boss, we we bake now. 66 million cupcakes. And everyone has to buy one. And everyone <laughs> in. Uh, uh, but it's, it's law. We pass a law. <laughs> oh, we, 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 this we, is starting to get dangerous. No, <laughs> I think we're fine. It's charity. Uh, we, <laughs> we pass a law so that everyone has to buy a cupcake. And right. If they don't, then we steal their sofas. But not. Okay. 
<laughs> so it's either Cupcake no. for charity or you and I personally come and get their sofas. I feel like we should leave the ideas to these guys. Do you guys <laughs> like they've got a lot more good ideas? Is, is there anything you guys would ideally do? Let's say let's say money has no bounds. Other than the fun run, of Other, course. Yeah, yeah, because the fun idea. run is like the, the, the sort of ground Sky, of the whole Sky's country. the limit. What yeah. would you do? What would you guys do to raise money? <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. I, uh, that's a good question. I don't know either. That is fair enough. I, as soon as we, we said that, I thought we really there. threw you under the bus a little bit there. <laughs> we should have sort of sprung, you, sprung that question on you. But it's okay. We've got time to think. I'm sure loads of people in the comments will have loads of ideas as well. Yeah, do you know what? Let's go into the comments. Let's see in the questions box. Hang on. If, anyone, if anyone has any ideas um, for raising money for charity. Guys, if you're watching this live stream, can you put some ideas in there and we'll, we'll, we'll all discuss them. Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on. So, so someone actually asked the question, what are you guys raising money for? So if, do you guys want to, just for anyone that might have missed it. Um, so we're raising money for the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital where I'm being treated for leukemia. Um, yeah, there's not, not really much else. It's just, that's it. Uh, Simple. It, yeah. that's, that, that's what we're raising money for and it's an yeah. extremely good cause that Harvey and I have actually been a part of for I think almost five years now it's been a long time um, and we love the charity we love visiting the charity as well and I'm sure that both Huey and Freddie um, love the charity for everything they've done for Huey so far and I'm sure Huey you've made some friends in there as well that have been helped by them so it's and I think they're in the live stream as well right now so hi guys at RMCH um, oh, and one other thing I want to say as well is that we're going to put something on our story uh, directly to uh, Freddie's fundraiser, but also there is the RMCH fundraiser down at the bottom. If you want to donate directly to the charity, that also works. It all goes to the same place. Uh, so it's all great. Uh, and yeah, obviously very excited about what you guys are doing. Is there anything else you guys wanted to say at all before we wrapped up? I think we should also do some. Oh, we should do some more questions as well. But is there anything you guys want to say at all? Any any shout outs you want to give while we're midway through? <laughs> um, no, not really. Um, I've got some questions for you. Oh. Uh, well, uh, so we've got just just one, but um, one of my friends has asked, uh, when you're on X Factor, who was your favourite judge? That Ooh. is a really good question because it's so legally contracted to say Simon. No, <laughs> we don't have to say that. Uh, no, but all of them were genuinely lovely. Uh, especially, we, we actually spent a lot of time chatting to all of them. Uh, Nicole was really nice to us. She was always hyping us up. She was always saying, you know, that we were doing great. Uh, and she, she loved us. So Louis was, really was just nice. trying to sign us. The Louis whole time. was always trying to sign us. It was great. He wanted to be our manager. Uh, which we already really have one, so it's um, fine. And then Simon, Simon was always like, if, whenever Simon walked into the room, the whole mood changed. Like he's a lovely guy, but everyone was so scared of him. It was so funny. He's a scary man. He's he's lovely, as we said, but like he he walks in a room with a presence. Oh it's yeah, just like. That Simon Cowell aura. There was there was one time I didn't know he was in the room and everyone had gone quiet and I was like, what what is happening here? Why is everyone so like focused? And then I turned around and saw him and I went, oh okay, Do you know that's what? why. <laughs> I, I don't know if we told this story and we should have done for the YouTube video today because we've got we've got a YouTube video coming out actually about X Factor today. Yes. Uh, we should have told this story. So I actually. Hello, Freddie. That's our dog. Uh, not you, Freddie. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm not <laughs> uh, I just realised that. Um, we we actually. Um, I don't. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but proved Simon Cal wrong. Oh yeah. Uh, we were we we were very proud of ourselves, but he basically wanted us to do a song for uh, the fifth week that we didn't particularly want to do. Um, and everyone part of the team was telling us, no, you have to listen to Simon. You're not going to be able to have your own choice. We were like, well, why don't we learn both songs, take them to Simon, and then he can pick, once he's seen both performed, which one he prefers. And they were like, I guess you can do that, but he's not going to pick yours. We do both <laughs> songs, perform them both equally. We didn't perform his one any worse. We, were, we wanted to make sure it was fair. He does his slow walk up to the stage. I was terrified, wanted to cry. Uh, and then he was like... Fair enough, boys. You were right. You're doing your song. I was like, yeah. We defeated Simon yes. Cow. <laughs> Max is really <laughs> proud of that I was story. so happy because I was terrified. And uh, yeah, he agreed with us on that one. And we ended up doing Kiss You. So uh, right. uh, yeah, that, that was the extended answer to your question. Uh, <laughs> because that really wasn't the question you asked. But I don't know if anyone's got um, 
any. Um, I'm looking for Everyone's questions saying now. Everyone's saying 24-hour live stream. People are asking as, us. As much as I loved doing the 24-hour live stream, it, it made me combust in ways I didn't think I could. Uh, because we were literally trying to keep our energy and morale up for, for the 24 hours. Did you guys see that at all when, I, when we did the 24 live stream, hour live stream? You might have missed it. It was meant to. Um, but it was one of the most like tough things we've done because obviously it, it's fair. It's fairly easy to stay up for 24 hours. But what we were doing was like presenting, playing games, guesting people, keeping the live stream going, and always trying to keep our energy up. And it really does get tiring after a while. To the point where by the end we were just like, let's just we, we can't do this anymore. But we got yeah. through it. We did. I was, I was thinking about that the other day, and you'd be like, what What would you do? Like, there's we, no. Do you know what we were asking ourselves that halfway through, Huey? We were <laughs> we started running out of ideas and went because uh, Instagram's live feature wasn't prepared for that when we did it, and actually right after we did our twenty four hour live stream. They introduced a load of features that would have been great for us to have. Like this fundraiser well, like, feature. Yeah, like the fundraiser yeah. feature, the multiple people, the we can we can actually live stream for three hours now instead of one. It would have been so great to have while we were doing twenty four hours, but you know, it just wasn't meant to be. I've seen something come through and I'd love to ask your guys' opinion on this because someone has said that Royal Manchester Children's Hospital should try and put together a big concert to raise money. Who would you guys want to see headlining that concert? Oh, like, if you could pick any artist in the world. Uh, probably Travis Scott. He's probably one of my favourites. Nice. That would be so great. Ignore him. Ignore him. It just doesn't matter. Well, who would you say, Huey? <laughs> um, probably you. Probably well, you. Well, that means the you world. You have very low standards, my friend. <laughs> no, 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 it's no. <laughs> That would be very cool, and we would obviously yes. love to uh, do that. I'm sure RMCH would have us. If they can put that together, but they, they, if they can put that together, we absolutely will do that. Uh, and I think we should definitely talk about that in the future. Let me see if there are any more uh, questions in here. Yeah, a live show would be sick. Um, I don't know, where would they do it? Where, 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 where? United, United Stadium. There we go. Sorry, Burnley fans. I know you guys like Burnley, but we're United fans over here, so we've 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 got to, we've got to stay biased to our team as well. How was how was going to Burnley actually? Because I, I saw you guys um, went to the actual pitch and did stuff there. Um, well, I was in the hospital at the time. Yeah, yeah Huey was in hospital, so most of the time we just had him on like FaceTime and Zoom. So. Right, 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 right. But I'm sure it was nice sort of speed. Did you did you meet any of the players while you were there? Uh, me, yeah. Um, nice, nice, nice. Um, when we were there, I was on the um, FaceTime with Huey at the time, so. They were talking to him for a bit as well. So. See, the, the power of technology, it, make, it makes things... It's the reason we're speaking right now. Exactly. So it's <laughs> ideal. And I promise I am still here. I'm just flicking through the questions, looking for one. Uh, a colour run. A colour run. Colour run. I would love run. to do a colour run. I've yeah. never done that before. I mean, the, the, mo most of the suggestions are sort of 24-hour lives and, and live yeah. concerts and stuff like that. Or we could... Do, someone said do a sponsored skydive. Do you guys oh, want to go... Do you guys want to go skydiving? <laughs> yeah. uh, you, guys, you guys seem majoritively up for it. Huey, you seemed a bit more uncertain. <laughs> no? Is that, is that a little bit of a fear of yours, heights? No, no, because I, I, don't, I, I don't have a fear of heights at all. It's just... Going towards the ground quickly. <laughs> <laughs> jumping, jumping out of a plane. Right, yeah. Then, oh, that, that must be the hardest bit, because... Once yeah. you're out, you can't go, now nah, I want to go back up. Because <laughs> they can't take you back up. You're going down no matter what. So, yeah, it's, it's quite interesting, the concept of skydiving. Way to put people at ease. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we're not skydiving right now, so it's not That's too true. Bad, but... Who came up with that? Who went, yeah, I want to jump Apparently, out. Apparently, I saw a comment uh, from the Royal Manchester Students Hospital. So apparently, they run a skydive. Apparently, they do that. So uh, let's talk to yeah. them. And make that happen. If we will get that invite, going. I'm down. <laughs> we are. We are definitely down to make that happen. Uh, anyway, it has been amazing chatting with you guys. Uh, again, I just wanted to remind everyone: 
These guys have been doing an amazing job. If you missed it, they have raised over £220,000, I think something like that, for charity, which is just insane. And you can keep donating to them. Uh, we're going to put, obviously, there's a link down here for the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital, or you can donate directly to Freddie's fundraiser, Freddie's Friendship Fundraiser, which is in, which is going to be in our story. Do you want to grab a picture, actually, and put it? on our story now j j take a picture of them yes take a picture on your phone yeah. of the screen that's how it's gonna work <laughs> right. right so we, we've all got to pose for a picture now this this might not work and I'll, i'm gonna have to crop it because okay, our wait. setup's terrible here we go right actually let's get rid of these hang on are we, are we gonna get rid of the comments oh, i don't no. know how to do that you have to do that yeah one. i'm gonna right i'm gonna attempt to get rid of the comments lads i can't remember how i did it last time so bear with you're, me you're gonna have to do it because i've got no uh clue. oh no no I hang on guys we're just gonna we're just gonna mess around sometimes it should probably be that one. right Turn yeah off comments there we go there we go now we can see him okay chuck that down there we've got okay. them both in perfect so i got a picture oh my knees hurt thank you guys so much <laughs> i've been kneeling I... the whole time oh, can I just the face now. sorry can i just say a couple more things it's... of course it's... go Do... for it um are you at camp best camp festival this year absolutely are you going to be there as well i'm going to be there yeah we have to meet that is exciting we must we must i'm going to try to make my mum get me some tickets so Yes, yes, yes. We will, yes, we yes. will definitely be in touch about that. Uh, let us know what's happening with that, guys. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to say, Hugh, at um, all? Yeah, my sister, she's a little bit of an artist herself, and she is um, putting a song out on her birthday, 27th of March. Awesome. Wow. What's it called, and what yes. is her name, so we can um, all go find it? Okay, so the song is called You Don't Need Me, and she's called Beatrix. Beatrix, yeah? Beatrix, everyone, go check it out. What's the date again? Remind everyone. 27th of March. So... 27th? Oh That's our little sister's birthday. My knees are giving way, guys. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just, just so you know, I'm, I'm not lowering on purpose. Yes, everyone, go stream that song. Freddie, was there any last words you had as well? Uh, just thanks for having us on, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for joining Thank us, you. lads. It was a pleasure speaking to you. I'm sure we'll meet you in person soon. Yeah. Absolutely. See you later, boys. Thanks, see guys. Yeah. For see having us. We'll see you. everyone later. Thanks to everyone who donated. Bye. Bye-bye.